<laughs> right, welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, stay on the hashtag Y254 updates and let's go to our other story. Now, a 53 year old pastor from Kumasi, Nigeria, by the name Nguo who impregnated more than 20 members of his congregation, including several married women and young girls, claiming that the Holy Spirit told him to have sex with them, has been arrest arrested for sexual abuse. The pastor claims to be obeying prophetic and spiritual injunction to do the will of God, which is to impregnate anyone chosen and revealed by the Holy Spirit, irrespective of whether the woman is married or not said Amarazu, police, a police spokesman of Enugu Estate. When the woman is delivered by the baby, the child remains in the ministry with a mother for life, he added. All right, so there's a Nigerian pastor, right? Mm -hmm. He has impregnated 20 of his congregation. Holy Ghost. Some married. <laughs> Some married, some are not married. And before that, he had a wife who had three kids with him. Bibi akawendoka. Aliona hizi mimba zimekuwa mingi. So the wife left him. But he has still been uh, doing that. Some kids are like hundreds. Wengine ni mabibiza watu. But he's what they are now changanya. Where's the church. problem? He's a pastor. Anasema metumwa na Holy Spirit. Thank you. Kwa za nizama appreciate sana. Because mungu anasema tujaze dunia. Ako right kufanya kitu inafaifanyike. Simu nizama nafota biblia. Yeah, wacha sa tujaze dunia. Kama mbaya mba. So why are you taking someone's wife? Is that biblical? Alikuja kaniambia kwa single. Do you know this married people? No, no, no. See, Bibi ya mekuambia. Unasema Holy Spirit amesema nizaye na wewe. Kama meongea na esi, sini pastor. How? No, sini pastor amesema Holy Spirit ameniongelesa nizaye na wewe. Kubali matokeo, kama mba ya mba. Because you ladies wache ni wambie. Saizi ato kichinji ya demu zaira ako single. Saizi ato uko single. Yes. Tunasema nga yo single, adi ekepete na peleke mbuzi. Kwenye. Yes, exactly. Na mangombe. Muyu, 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 muyu. Yes. Hiyo ni yako, my friend. Ladies, kama kwa natali uko nje, rosu munga ya hawa boyfriend na mteke. Una chest war. Mutu ni mutu adi ya kupeleke kwenye. Ndiyo natambulika. Awe ngine. Yes. Wakaya na mamayo. All right, wait. Junel, regarding the story, what's your take? This is a pastor. He was impregnated, like, he has impregnated some, his, the congregation, his own congregation. Some other people's wives and some women when they're not married. Wangini wako zi 19. That is a pastor. Like, what's going on? Are people blind? Honestly, what That is mean? wrong. Um, mm -hmm. um, God says he'll judge the pastors. Mm -hmm. But in this case, what I can say, for him to have a position per se in society, pastors are respected. He took advantage of that, took advantage of the ignorance of women who've come to the church to seek help. advantage. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> fire burn no, it's only they say fire burn them, fire burn them, <laughs> all of them. But it's very wrong. It's very wrong. Lucky now, Mama P. A. Lucky to talk on him, says the Yaf. No, but but you know, a lot of people are doing a lot of things in the name of God, you know, like yes. so. We can't say who, okay, first of all. It's written, do not, like, judge. Yes, my own. I love this. Another verse who said, touch not the anointed. Yes. So you don't know who is anointed, who is not. So just don't judge. But there are some things you just use your common sense. But yes. this last sentence discuss up Jesus' area. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, eh? Okay, um, we're not going to talk about Jesus again. The pastor is that taking is a advantage. Like in Uganda, Uganda kuna maneno. <laughs> that is... That's another story. We talked about it last week. Mm. There's a guy who claims he's Jesus, but that's his Uganda. He's been arrested. Don't know we were in Nigeria, but then he's been arrested. Now we're bad. No, I'm in No, I'm in Shikwa. I'm in Shikwa. Exactly, but it's something that is that is ongoing with the current uh, financial and economic crisis, global, global wide, eh? yeah. rather whatever. See Kenya peke. What you wanna feel your pinch? You're running to church to Christ. Yeah. But sasa mwenye apparently ame appointiwa na Yesu kusimamia kondo. And I take advantage. And I pull a condo. And I pull a condo. Then no, then it's all right. So someone once told me, like people who go to the club and people who go to church, they are both sick. People go to, you know, like find. When I'm going, what's your church? When I'm going to pour you, 
Because, like, okay, people go to church for various reasons. Most people go to church because they are like, they need peace. Mm-hmm. Juni, nini. Okay. Yeah, healing. Just yeah. below mesema. Mm-hmm. So, some find it in church, some find it in clubs. Virtual people have ways of dealing with yeah. their issues. Yeah. <coughs> so, they know. Walo may choose church. What do you have to say about that? No, honestly, mm-hmm. there is, okay, I first want to, okay, I, I don't want to seem to uh, support Hafulu on this mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. but there's something I just want to make clear mm-hmm. that. There's, there's a very big problem, and I'm not sounding also at the same time not uh, gender biased, but there's something very wrong with the ladies on this one. There's, there's something, I don't know if it's the fact that they're soft-hearted or something, but they tend to believe easily. And these pastors, they take advantage of that fact. Mm. Look at all the congregations right now. Mm-hmm. Every church. Where do you find women most? In they are in church. They are in this, uh, in all these church groups, leading many things in church, and it's they are easily t- uh, taken away by, uh, by, away by the fact that mm-hmm. it's religious. The pastor says they even get to a point they call pastors and bishops dads. You know, it's okay, but there's there's something, something that needs to be looked at. In a, and this is why we say even when you're praying and you're asking God to to like guide you through it, mm-hmm. ask for wid- wisdom. Yeah. Because at this point, you need to be very wise. Uh, to, very wise because yeah. our oh, to, and I think the Bible says that there is going to be a time where we'll have fake prophets. We don't know how to decipher who is fake and who's not. Yeah. It's right. about us praying for that wisdom to know where we're going and asking hey, for it. Sour. Yeah. Yeah. That is very deep. Yeah. Amen yeah. to that. Yeah. Jesse. Yeah. Jesse. Yeah. No, no, no. No, have you. Okay, mm-hmm. Jesse. Okay, yes. <laughs> Religion. Yeah. There is a quote that I saw going around some time, two weeks ago. Mm. Uh, Africa. Whoever brought religion okay, to Africa. Like just mm. a bit louder, mm. yours oh, a bit softer. Yeah. Guy J mm-hmm. so woo mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Nipa the call. Talk shouter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So kuliko na go around liko in a sema the person who brought religion to Africa ali to as a whole. Yes. Just because we Africans, to kileta wakitu, it's either we take and misuse it, ama to chukwe to kosea ku kutengeneza. So this is it. It's just this week. Ama it's last week. It's this week. Gedorai 44. Mm. Pastor Amekwa Aki Nini, the 13 oh, year olds. 13 it's year olds. It's the same thing. And he was actually giving them yeah. alcohol. Alcohol wana lewa. Yeah. Uh, wana baki. See, on his sister, wine, ya yeah. holy wine. And do uh. you know it has been going on? Up until what we kakua no sasa to wende to to do what happens there. And the first thing pe- people walked in kwa yo nyumba ni sandals za waschana. Za watoto wa Na wa mama na waschana. Yeah, 13 year olds, 19 year olds. You know jua? Just because it's brain, it's be, it's brainwashing. To say me too yeah. what it is. Yeah. To not brainwashing. Brain All right. Sawa. You no, even Afri, wonder. We're gonna See, come. We're gonna come to that. We're gonna come back to that Afri later Afri on. Is totally different right now. With being yeah, that's a that's a big difference. It's different. All right, Sawa. Let's go to the next story. Yeah. We don't have time. We're gonna talk to that. If you have any opinion, the hashtag is YTFM for updates. Keep talking to us. Now, Ugandan businesswoman and Diamond Platinum's yeah. baby mama Zari Hassan is not happy with Kenya Airways after she allegedly lost her expensive perfumes from her luggage. Zari wrote on her Instagram, and I quote, <laughs> so disappointed in Kenya Airways. I've been loyal, but always do me wrong. The other times I've ignored, but not today. All my perfumes I've received as, a gi- as gifts from my friends in Dubai just disappeared. What am I supposed to wear for my meeting? Wondered Zari. She added, how kick you have in the past delayed flights without informing their passengers, and went ahead to lament that she's never boarded a KQ flight on time. All right, so what's happening? Zari and I be were, and okay, 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 let's say this. It's not just Zari. Like we've had um, such cases. It's not just, uh, at least for her, she decided to speak out. Mm. Like who is to be blamed? Mm. You know what bugs. happens? Mm-hmm. Juicy. Okay, eh, ni kona experience. Ni mekuwa uto hapa, ni mekuwa pata. Fungua roho, fungua roho. Beshti yangu wa metoka Russia. Hata ni last week. And do you know she told us she had new clothes for everyone in their family. Yeah. And do you know she told us she had to remove the price tags. Ndiyo iki inspecti wa pale, whoever is, is inspecting asione ni mpia. Yeah. Ni mpia just because ni mpia. Perfumes hazikuwa na boxes. Can you imagine the hassle you're going through? Kupak iso vitu zote, unatoa tag by tag. Ndiyo ukifika airport isitolewe na mtu. It, it has been happening. What you need to do is to It yeah. is happening. Ata uki dare to watch at a watch. Do you know kwanza vitu kama watch? There's simple things. Chains, watch. Izo kwanza unajua na chukwa tunanaeka kwa mfuko. It's so easy. It has been happening. Right. I think 
okay staki kusema ni Kenya Airways juice yes si Kenya Airways it's totally different mm. but i think si ata Kenya Airways i think kuna mahali There's it's some... in between the transit <laughs> probably okay. right so yeah. that's right Dennis, what is supposed to be done? You know, KQ have, has always been filing for, what is it called? No, like, every end of the year when they're doing their budget, they file for losses, like, uh, or Jeffica Bay. Is, are these some of the issues that, that are contributing to that? And what do you think should be done? No, actually, honestly, to just echo what she said, she, yeah. oh, she said something very true. Yeah. But I also feel Zari, being being also uh, in, the, in the limelight, yeah. took advantage of a very, of, of something that was going on. Yeah. And I'll, I'll actually give you the example that Kipchoge, after winning Ineos, he was actually traveled, uh, he traveled back to Kenya using Kenya Airways. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. He came back home using Kenya Airways. His flight was actually like a kind of a secret because even the photos were shared after he got home. Mm -hmm. But now Zari knows about this, apparently, and mm -hmm. wants to also ride on the same. Because, like, okay, Nile, Nio Stacha, she just wants to be in that Stacha that I rode home with Kipchoge. Nifile Atai Kusema, Ivo, I rode home with Kipchoge. Because it's in the same situation, the same timeline. Yeah. She just wants to have that. Because Vitu Kupotea is you potea, by the way. Airport, yeah. it's just normal. Mm -hmm. Kuhepa Vitu is you hepa. Mm -hmm. And it's not the first time. So it, why, why just raise that issue right now and tell us that you don't even have anything to wear? Zari, sure. Not to wear, like, her perfumes. <laughs> Those yeah, are the perfumes surely. she was she had intended to wear. Really? To her <laughs> and she so she said that incident costed her two hundred and forty four thousand Kenya shillings really? and she's demanding to be compensated. Junel. <laughs> Queen of Petty at it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zari to me is ever petty, mm -hmm. ever petty. For her, it's a moment of getting attention. And uh, yeah, you win. You know, we are talking about you. But really, you know, she's she has money. She has perfumes. She has teacher. So, is or yao, KQ, fine. Unge, unge resolve to chini amaji. Because for her already, she has the money. She has the power. So the moment she even emails KQ and tells her, by the way, I lost my things. Here's my ticket number. Resolve that. I want my, my, my uh, money refunded. You know, so yeah. Mm. All right, so you? No, take the mic. Use the mic. Kuna Zari amebiwa. Ah ah. Hakuna ngoma kai. You just made that up. Iko, You guys just made that song up right now. I think of late Zari hajakuwa kwa social media na vitu kai hizo. Hatujamsikia. Amesota. So atafuta njia na KQ cuz ni jina kubwa. Aenda pige dasta home arudi. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's do that. But we're not gonna dwell on that. <laughs> not gonna, I'm not gonna comment no, on that. We're just gonna move on to the next story. Now, popular American rapper Kanye West has held his first church service on the streets weeks after getting served. Kanye was seen preaching to the crowd as he knelt down and prayed to prayed while people joined him. In a video, Kanye was heard asking God to teach him how to love, forgive, and pray. with Janelle. East Janelle. Are you excited? Kanye is saved. Kanye and Atongo was a gospel. Kanye is on the street preaching. Yes. <laughs> Your whole life, yes. I'm so happy for Kanye. That's the right way to go. At least he's I think he appreciates. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that also the wife is supporting. Well, goodbye Illuminati. <laughs> so it's good that uh, we praise God, give thanks. I think he's, he's seen a lot. Ndiyo amwea and Christianity. Yeah. Kuna venye labda mungu kuna venye ali mtokeleze. Unajua mungu wa kutokeleze is the end times for real. Mm -hmm. And our God is a God of mercy. So shout out to him. Shout out to all the other celebrities out there. It's not too late. Jesus loves you. Yeah. Mm. All right, Dennis. Comments, foopy foopy. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know if, if, it was, if it was somebody from as in a low, okay. I'll use the word low in quotes, mm -hmm. a low level musician mm -hmm. turning to Christ, I would say it's just for controversy. Mm -hmm. But for him, 
I would say it looks and it sounds legit. Yeah. And I'm happy for the fact that he's trying to do that. And because he's a musician, if you look at his, uh, his preachings, they're actually musical. Yeah. They're actually musical. There's some background, Zuko Nyuma, he's doing some raps, but he's just doing it, it as, as in I'm just happy he's just doing that. Right. Let's see, let's see, what's up? Mm. 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 What's up? Mm. Yeah, uh, he needs a lot. Uh, salvation doesn't come easily, you yeah, all know that. Mm -hmm. He just needs to hold on. Na ajua tu kuna haters mahali, lakini ataweza. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just happy for him. The following, once he does that, he will pull a lot of people. Yeah. Tunaona, it is happening already. It's already happening. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's nice. Mm. Now, because Sisi of time, we're, we're going go to go to we're gonna go to our last story. The hashtag. <laughs> no, the hashtag is y 2 <laughs> updates. Keep talking to us. At LinkedIn at y 2 channel. Now, a bridesmaid embarrassed herself for the wedding ceremony after displaying some hilarious dance moves. The woman fell flat on the ground after <laughs> deciding to display her killer moves for the crowd that was there for her friend's big day. We have the video, let's check it out. You guys are not nice. You guys are not nice. You guys are not nice. Okay, pass over the mic to Hafu. Hafu is. Yeah, I don't feel like. Sungura nipe karoti marago sijazo ya yokot. What's happening? Okay, maybe I'll go after style mpia. I can swim to the near Yosemite. I'm a cousin, 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 i am a cousin 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 i am so, eh, Jibambe, if you can't do it, any brides made a matter bride. It's your day. You have fun regardless of what will happen. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dennis. Yeah. Okay, okay. Udem, Udem, me, I, I know, that I, I, I've, I've been in the bridal team, mm -hmm. and I, I've in some bridal teams, and what I know is he, she, they, Lianza from the preparation. They prepare for a wedding, they teach you dance moves, you practice dance moves in your casual wear. Alafu siku ya arusi, they give you dresses that you're not comfortable in. And this lady feels she can do it. She has heels. She wants to do some crazy moves. Because when the moment alianza kukunja nguo, she wanted to get comfortable. Unfortunately, hii nguo pande ya nyuma ni mrefu kuliko vila likuwa na expect. So this is the problem. Aki na memhurumia. Laki ni fine. God, jeez. Aki, but it's true what Dennis is saying. Mnape wangu wa mnendanga mna practice mkiwa na ngoma, mm -hmm. na trao, yeah. ama na short, vilu umetoka mta. Yeah. Unwana? Yo siku mpaka ukona wig. So ukona, ukona so much to carry. Eh, hey, unakumbuka jeans, niki, niki, niki dance, kina niki sweat. Kina jine siku wa make wa make up. Hey, na hey, di mnashoro, <laughs> na akona wig. <laughs> hmm? Sister, right. it mm -hmm. happens. Aki, woy, aki, me, it's funny. But yeah. ata ye, alikunja yon guo sana. Sana. Mama right, mjauna so, hapo. Jesse, <laughs> unfortunately we are out of time. So mm. give us the last remarks to Navy comments. You, ten uh, seconds each. We are Shout out, out to Njoro, mm. Watere, Pale, Pale, Wo Jesso, Eldoret. <laughs> <laughs> Pare Eldoret. Alright, eh, Jesse Mugore. Yeah, Jesse Mugore Facebook, Jessinta Mugore Instagram, and Mugore Murasho Twitter. Thank you so much, guys. Now I'm Dennis. <laughs>
<laughs> Mom, pale nyumbani, my family, Philly, Sarah, Sammy, Julius, you guys are watching. I appreciate what you guys are doing. I go by the name Dennis Bob Miner across all all social media platforms. The Mwangis, as they call me, ukipata na mimi mta, and it's been real. See you next week, guys. Right, Junil. Junil, Viatora, Giovanni, across all social media platforms. It's been real. Thank you, guys, for joining us. Abi, Kevo, John Ginger, thank you so much for tuning in. Love all the way from Mombasa. Tukonama fans, Kila Mali, we really appreciate you. See you next week. God bless. All right. Praise Abi. God. So, Mr. Makilam, praise God. Amen. Farida Siengo is watching Esther, Wambo, Ronald. We say thank you so much, Kufungwa, to Fefo, because Indio Station, you wajanja. Kama wesi mjanja mtu wangu taka na wazazi. Call me the only channel of Fuluimboko, Facebook page of Fuluimboko, Instagram of Fuluimboko, Twitter at Fuluimboko. Tujibambange kile wakati kama kawa, kama dawa. All right, and a big shout out to you, Mash. Thank you so much for watching, and each and every one of you for watching. Thank you so much for staying with us. Unfortunately, we're out of time. We won't have time to read your comments, but we're going to do that next week. We're going to try do that. Now, we're here each and every Thursday. If you have any stories, make sure you send them to us at Filimjin, and of course, at Y254 channel as well, and the hashtag Y254 updates. We're going to see you next Thursday with an even more entertaining show. Goodbye, good night. Bye.